just messing around a little bit there. Uh, uh, let's talk a little bit about buying a hat again. Um, it's the season to buy hats, and a lot of people, uh, they hit me with this question a lot. Uh, they'll come in, uh, like, you know, the other day a foreign guy came in with a heavy Eastern European accent. He was like, you can uh, make hat with... Uh, with facial uh, preferences. And I knew what he meant, you know. Can you find the perfect hat for my face, you know? What is the hat that goes with my face width and etc., etc., my eyes and hands, structure, you know, ba, ba, ba. Now, a lot of that stuff, yeah, there are guidelines, of course, but a lot of it has to do with, with what you, the wearer, is comfortable with. You have to walk around with it and it can't live in your closet. So if you feel very comfortable with a particular brim, you know, like the shorter brim feels nice and neat to you, but when you go in a bigger brim, um, yeah, let me show you a bigger brim. Okay, for instance, let's say you're wearing this two inch brim, it looks nice and neat, and you put on a, a wider brim, you say, oh no, this is Cowboy or uh, Indiana Jones, where I don't like it, this is not me. So, uh, no. Other guys will look at the short brim and say, yeah, it's too conservative, it looks like an old man's hat, I want something wider. They say, yeah, that's what I want. It's taste. Some of it is your face. Um, some of it is, it's kind of like, you have to have a particular look that you're after. And once you kind of hone that look, <laughs> Getting good at those sirens, right? Sorry, I had to do that. You know, I love sirens, right? Anyway, there's a look you're going after. Let's say you're going after the wide brim, you know, kind of uh, film noir Indiana Jones look. There's a window for your face that's going to look better and worse once we kind of fine tune that, you know. But there isn't one brim that's good for you. I would say there's more like a bracket. And what it has to really come down to is you've got to try the brims on and you've got to feel comfortable with them. Now, if you're living very far from a hat shop, you're in whichever town, in Iowa, you know, you're not by a big city like New York that has huge hat shops and this and that, you've got to do mail order. I can understand you can't try stuff on, but you can. You could try on cheap hats. You could try on just like Walmart hats or anything, thrift find really good stuff in like Salvation Army and thrift shop and stuff actually. But um, you try on stuff, you measure the brim, and you say, okay, that was at least too small. I know I don't want one and a half and I don't want two. Uh, Kevin wears a two and three eighths inch. Now this is a two and a half right here. It's actually two and five eighths in the front, two and three eighths on the side. But um, it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, two and a half. So, that's a big brim look. The three inch is very rare. You, you don't see it in a lot of hats, but it's a super oversized, like zoot suit. If you're young and edgy, you could do it. Not a lot of people want to go that big. Two and a half is big. Two inches medium. One and a half is small. Uh, I would say Stetson Asher or maybe the the Blues Fedora by Kappas if you want to go shorter brim. The Blues is softer. If you have light light eyes, like uh, blue eyes, you could do the, the blues hat in gray because it's kind of like a sky blue gray and it looks fantastic. It's kind of like a Sinatra hat or a Blues Brothers a two inch brim. Like, uh, kind of like this. The blues is great. The Asher is even smaller in the brim. That's our best selling hat. After the Asher, there's two inch stuff like the Saxon. The blues is a little smaller than the Saxon. I think they're both considered a two though. Uh, medium brim like that, you know. Brim up, it's amazing, brim down, it's gentlemanly, it's perfect, you know. Um, you have to go and try stuff on and see how it looks, you know. The more leg work you put into it, the better. You know what I'm saying?
Your horns are right. Doppler effect. I do know my hats. So if you're choosing a hat, uh, think of that as a guideline. Two inches Frank Sinatra. It's your shortish brim. One and a half inches, very short, but very doable. Uh, the Asher's are best-selling hat for all size faces. Small, medium, large faces, short guys, tall guys. Um, two inches, a good medium brim. Authentic looking. It's not an over, you know, if you want a shorter brim. Two and a half is going to be like, you know, your fuller hats, or two and three-eighths, a little bit less than that, like my green hat. It is, it's like two and three-eighths or two and a half. Three inches is going to be very, very big. Um, it starts to usually get either western or outback when they're three-inch brims. That's the problem. There's not a lot of fedoras, but we do have a few, like the, the Madrid, a couple of other things, uh, the Calico. But they're, they're tough to come by. Three inch brims that are, you have the natural and the three inch. They're custom. You know, a lot of companies don't make it. They're just starting to make it. And they're making funky things with flat brims that are three and three quarter inches and three and a half and stuff. But it's all new. It's not dress hat stuff. It's funky fashion stuff. <laughs> shopping for a fedora, look at different uh, brims, different models, uh, your two inches in the middle, one and a half is small, two and a half is big, there's your, your model. Um, I would say some of the more popular models are like the Stetson Temple, Stetson Whippet. The Whippet is a little bit more nostalgic than the Temple. The Temple is also nostalgic, but it's plainer. It doesn't have all the uh, 1940s, you know, like the bound edge and stuff. It's a little simpler. Uh, if you want a smaller dress hat, like a two inch, you've got the Stetson Saxon. Or if you want to spend a little less, the Blues Fedora is only 110 bucks and it rolls right up. It's made in New York. It comes in like seven colors, like olive, and like that nice gray with a light blue in it. Camel, brown, navy, black, a lot of colors. Uh, we also have a, a bigger brim version of that called the Atlantic. If you want a $110 crushable bigger brim hat, it's a two and a quarter inch brim, kind of like this, this is a big two, it's like maybe a little bigger, two and a quarter, yeah, and uh, if you want to go short brim, I definitely suggest the, I suggest the Asher, uh, it's a fantastic hat, it's almost sold out, we have green, black, and blue right now, but we're waiting for a huge shipment, so maybe by the time you hear this, we'll have them. Let's get it. 